In this video, we are going to look at some of the mobile communication protocols. So first, let's see what a mobile device is. Any device that does not need to remain at its own place, its designated place to carry out its work, its functioning is called a mobile device. So its example could be a laptop, uh, even your mobile phone, personal digital assistants, smartphones, tablets. These will connect to any network for exchange of information wirelessly. Since they don't remain at one place, they cannot connect to the network or internet through a wired connection. So generally radio waves, infrared waves and microwaves are used to connect these mobile devices to a network. Multiplexing is used to send information over that wireless network. Why multiplexing is used? So that the infrastructure can be used, more information, more data can travel at the same time. So now what is multiplexing? Multiplexing means combining multiple digital or analog signals at the same time. How it is done? It is done in three ways as you can see here. FDM, TDM, CDM. What FDM stands for? FDM stands for frequency division multiplexing. Now the entire spectrum over which the data can be sent has different frequencies. So different user is assigned different frequencies so that at the same time all the different frequencies can be sent. Since the data is traveling on different frequencies, so the receiver can decipher which user is sending which data. Next, let's come to time division multiplexing. In time division multiplexing, only one frequency is used. A single frequency is divided into time slots and each user is given a different time slot. For at a time, 8 users can be supported here. So what happens is that if there is user 1, user 2 through user 8, so for 1 microsecond, user 1 will be using that uh, frequency, user 2 will use the next slot, next slot. After the 8th slot is over, then user 1 will again come and select that frequency and start transmitting the data. The third is CDMA which is code division multiplexing. It is the fastest mode of sending data. Why? Because all the users are using the entire frequency. Then how the receiver is deciphering which user is sending what? Each user is given a code. When each user is given a code, then what happens that before transmission of data, that code is appended. That code is added so that the receiver can identify which user is sending the data over the frequency right now. As use user is getting the whole frequency spectrum, it is very fast. Plus, it is automatically encrypted. So, in this video, we have seen how mobile devices can connect to the network using wireless connection and what are the different ways in which the data can be sent. In our next video, we will discuss what is GSM protocol.